So today we're going to talk about the hidden deficiency in a condition named POTS. Okay, that stands for postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Okay, this is a condition which involves the inability to tolerate different positions. So let's say the person gets up too fast or just even gets up in general and they're feeling dizzy, they have to sit down or they get up and they have this huge spike in pulse rate, like 30 points, okay? Um, there's a problem with uh, a system called the autonomic nervous system. So this condition is a dysfunction of the autonomic nervous system that is in the background that's not working correctly. There's a lot of other associated symptoms connected to this, um, dizziness, fatigue, pain, fibromyalgia, neurological tingling in the feet and the hands, anxiety, depression, and many, many more. So basically, if you do research on this, you'll see it's very complex. It's a syndrome. Really, no one knows what to do about it. Um, they'll say, we'll take some electrolytes, take this. There's medication for this. Uh, but if you take a look at another condition called beriberi, the symptoms are very, very similar. Beriberi is a vitamin B1 deficiency. It's a deficiency of thymine. Thiamine is intimately involved in autonomic nervous system function. In other words, it's a key player in the normal function of the autonomic nervous system, both the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. And if you look up a lot of the symptoms from beriberi, you'll see that they match this pretty close. So the way you would become deficient in vitamin B1 would be many different things. Consuming a lot of refined sugars and carbohydrates and going through stress. I mean, the stress could be anything, anything that would shock the system, but specifically stresses that can deplete vitamin B1, one being uh, vaccinations. Um, there's a connection between being vaccinated and ending up with this condition, I think because it will deplete your B1, either from having a heavy metal toxicity, which can affect that, or some type of immune response. Now, the other thing is that a lot of times doctors don't recognize B1 subclinical deficiencies, right? They're looking for some classic uh, beriberi uh, deficiency, like waiting till you get every single symptom as compared to maybe a slight version of this deficiency that shows some of the characteristics of having a B1 deficiency. Um, there's a test that you could do, it's called erythrocyte transketolase which is a great test to determine if it's maybe a subclinical deficiency because this measures the function of B1 in your body. Now, it's really actually difficult to find a lab to do this test. A much easier thing to do is just to take B1 and see if this condition improves. Uh, I would also recommend taking, in addition to higher amounts of B1, take nutritional yeast because that way you have all the B vitamins there to prevent any other deficiencies. So if you have this condition called POTS, Definitely start taking B1, uh, do some research on this, and comment down below. Hey guys, so there's a whole bunch of people that really need this information. So press the share button and let's get it way out there.